Hello, uh, I've just done a recent video on the Swift issues with this leaking sunroof and I thought it was only fair if I look at the Bailey issue we have with the Alitech. Uh, unfortunately it didn't take long before I found one. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just show you where the water can uh, pool on the floor um, and potentially how it gets in here. Now I haven't um, tested that because I haven't been able to strip it apart but I do know the issues that we get when we, uh, we see these. Um, so I will show you the, where the water ingress is uh, and how to test it using the meter. Um, and I think it's very important because if you are looking at a Bailey, um, if you've seen my video on the cheaper uh, damp meters, you can go and get a, a, a 30 pound damp meter and it will find this problem. So if you're looking at Bailey's um, older ones, some, you know, um, kind of 18 down, I mean, even, even the 18 ones, you know, things like that aren't, um, aren't immune to it so anything like that is, it doesn't hurt for 30 pounds and, and 10 minutes it's not going to hurt to check this out um, so I will show you <coughs> excuse me I'll show you uh, what has happened to this one because um, this is a fairly common and fairly typical uh, van so to the naked eye it doesn't look too bad um, if you actually catch it in some light you can see a bit of a staining around there um, but what I'll do I'll go through it with the meter in a minute and I'll show you exactly what that is showing. Right so I will use both that meters just to show you the cheaper one. That's the cheaper one and then my more expensive one uh, just to kind of double prove this cheaper um, uh, that meter is, is pretty good. Um, I would certainly recommend it so that's the £30 job. So let's see have a look here. Clearly here that's 999 that's off a scale all the way along and you can kind of see where it goes drier at 17 21 and then into the 999 and you can see that mark there of where the water ingress actually is so it's kind of you see it all the way down there wet 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 out to there and then dry and then wet again Okay, so you can see it's, it's so it's non-uniform so it's not a piece of metal or anything like that okay, so there you go all the way along there you go just to refer confirm so 46 oh can I have a long sitting sorry on software so 75 which is completely wet 75 75 and then scan it over to there, drops down again. So in the same place as the other meter did. 75, just show you there. 75 all the way along. And then out off the off the staining bit and you can see it. Okay, so there you can find that with this 30 pound dump meter, if you know where to look. It's actually giving a bit of a higher reading over here. Let's give it 75. Yeah, it's the same. So it's pretty good. Okay. And there you have it. Definitely water ingress. And I'll show you underneath in a minute the second telltale sign of, uh, of what to look for. Now just to confirm, we have it in the toilet area as well. Now this is mainly where we see uh, the water and goes around the toilet more so than down there um, because the toilet can leak so this is more frequent so this is the first place I go to when I when I'm testing the Bailey uh, it's around the toilet area as you can see off the scale off the scale dropping down and I don't know if you can see it in the video but there is a mark here um, so you can clearly see when you're here the difference between the, the wet and the dry okay over the other side so it's, it's actually okay over the other side so I wouldn't have said it's the toilet I would have said more that it's kind of come from here and come this way um, because it would be on the other side of the toilet as well and just to confirm with the other cheaper damp meter exactly the same uh, that's that dry there so like I say can't uh, recommend that highly enough for, for you guys when you don't have to spend 450 pounds or something like that so there you go clear there you go
So the front of this van is actually pretty good. Um, well, it's very good. There's, there's no damp here at all. Um, now, the first thing I look at is there's always a little gap between the, where the lino is and where, the, where it meets the wall. Now you can, whenever I've seen water ingress in the front of these, that's always black. Um, also, you can tell if there's any um, staples in the floor, if they started to go rusty. Um, sorry, I should have cleaned this, isn't that really? Um, uh, if they're starting to go rusty, then that's a, a sure sign of water ingress getting in there. Um, but this one is good both on the other side and on the front as well is good. Um, so it hasn't got into the front at all. But yeah, that's the first place I look. If, if you can see that that little gap there, it's like about three mil, um, is, uh, is black, then that's a sure fire sign that you've got more water ingress there. So unfortunately with this one, you can clearly see the water running down the walls and pooling on the sideboard here. Now, I think that's because we moved it and it's tilted forward slightly, but you can imagine that tilted backwards, it's gonna land down here and start to soak the floor. And I think that's where it's come in and run down and actually soak the, uh, the washroom area. Like I said, I don't think it was the wash, the toilet, which is normally the, uh, an issue. I don't think it's that. Um, so I'm fairly convinced it's coming down the walls. I can't see it any further, but yeah, it's definitely coming down there. And you can see it pooling there. This is the underside of the bailey. We've just been having a look in. You can clearly see where the water's come through and damaged there quite severely. You can see in the corner there where it's really bad. So that would all have to be replaced. So if you can crawl underneath the caravan and have just have a look on the um, on the sides underneath the skirts, front and rear. And if you see anything like that, then obviously uh, have a closer look inside. This is the other side. You can clearly see the water still running through here. Look. And this could be a different problem because this is probably this outside rail here. So we take that off and re-bed it and replace the wood. Um, and I think the other side is probably the T-bar. So I'm no expert on that. That would need a, a Bailey retail really, retailer to tell you what's really going on there. All I know is it's got it. So that's what I'd recommend checking on a Bailey Alitec caravan. Um, they all have the potential to do that. So um, when you're looking at buying one, uh, again, grab one of those damp meters, have a look underneath um, to see if we can see any of that staining that I showed you. Um, check around the toilets, check on the, all of the, around all the sides. You can have them where they're fine at the back and not so good at the front and vice versa. And in the middle around the uh, wheel arches as well. So yeah, it's worth a good check. Obviously, remember, there's no point scanning the walls because they're plastic. Um, it's only the floor that um, has this issue. Uh, I think it stems from the manufacturers using um, sealant as a first line of defence against water ingress. I, I just don't think it works. Uh, I think they should engineer out the, the issue uh, and use sealant as a secondary line of defence. Um, we see it time and time again. When they, when they use sealant, it breaks down. It doesn't get applied correctly. Um, there's, there seems to be an issue, whether it's Swift, Bailey or whoever it is. Um, that seems to be the problem that we see. Um, I, again, I, I don't make caravans, so uh, you know, I'm in no position to really tell them how to do it. But that's what I think, uh, is that using sealant should be a second line of defence uh, and try and engineer the problem out so it can't get in the caravan in the first place. Um, but yeah, like I said, that's just my opinion. Um, so hope this video has helped. Um, and uh, hopefully you'll, it will save you um, buying a van that you probably don't really want to buy. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.